Back, everybody, and again, we are waiting for President Trump to make remarks and sign an executive order on free speech on college campuses at any minute. Everyone is assembled at the White House room. We're just waiting for the president. Of course, we'll take you straight there when that event begins. Meantime, we are anxiously, uh, anxiously awaiting a press conference from Donald Tusk and Jean Claude Juncker, the presidents of the EU Council and the European Commission. British Prime Minister Theresa May expected also to speak immediately afterwards. We've been down this road so many times. Of course, this comes on the news that the EU is expected to agree to a Brexit extension until May 22nd. Not what the Prime Minister wanted. I want to bring in former U.S. Ambassador to the U.N.'s Economic and Social Council, Ambassador Terry Miller. Ambassador, you know, look, Theresa May wanted June 30th uh, on the predication that she can get a deal passed. The EU says no. May 22nd, and oh, yes, you do have to get your deal passed. She's tried twice before. Why does she think she can get it through a third time? Well, I, I think perhaps she's beginning to doubt that herself, that she can get it through. Um, the extension to May 22nd, if that indeed is the deal, is, is virtually meaningless mm. uh, because it's contingent upon her uh, achieving agreement in Parliament on her deal. That's already failed twice uh, by large margins. Uh, and if she doesn't get that next week, then uh, at the end of the week, we'll have the no deal Brexit. And do that, you think frankly, that, is probably do you the think best that deal. would happen? Do you think we'll get to the stage? I mean, I know that's the default position of Article 50, but, it, but if, it, if her plan fails next week and she goes back to the EU and just says, look, I need more time, does the EU then say, well, maybe you're going to need a year, maybe longer? Well, uh, she was asking for three months, and the EU said no to that. And uh, there are all kinds of complications in a larger mm -hmm. delay. Um, with this one, you have the, the complication of the European parliamentary elections mm -hmm. that are coming up. Does Britain have a slate of candidates or not? Uh, that's really a strange thing to contemplate when you're leaving uh, a political union like this. So uh, I think the possibility, the probability at this point is that uh, by the end of the end of next week, we'll have resolution of this. I hope you're right, because it's been a thousand and one days and it feels like a thousand and one days. Ambassador Terry Mill, I'm sorry I have to cut it short. We have a very busy news day, but thank you for joining us to the, this afternoon. We appreciate it. My pleasure.